While the portable power station market keeps getting more and more competitive, Anchor Solex continues to hold their place. Today, we're taking a look at the C1000. Technically, this is the C1000X because this is the dark version of the C1000. And it's the first generation of this model in the one kilowatt hour class. I've put this unit through a full set of tests, including inverter output, charging speeds, app control, safety protections, and many other things that you might find important. While it performs well in many of those areas, it has a few limitations that you should know about before buying. And by the end of the video, you're gonna know if this is the right power station for you or not. And if you're still uncertain on which system is right for you, I welcome you to come over to my website, thesolarpit.com. I've created a perfect tool for you, helping you narrow down your search in just a couple clicks. Just look for the system quiz to get my personal recommendation tailored to your needs. I spent tons of time creating this application and it will continue to be updated as new systems come out. If you need it, it's there. Let's get started with my review on the C1000. Included, you'll get the C1000 power station, the Anchor MC4 three port solar charging connector, AC charging cable, a car charging cable, and the user manual. Out of the box, the C1000 looks and feels solid. The case is tough and the handles are sturdy and the layout of the ports are simple and functional. At just over 28 pounds, this is not the lightest in its class, but it's still very manageable for one person to carry around. The overall dimensions are 15 by eight by 11 inches, and the LCD screen is bright and easy to read indoors, though outdoors, it could be a little bit more difficult to see when you're in direct sunlight. Overall, the build quality gives me confidence that this is built to last. The Anchor Solex 1000 uses LiPo 4 cells, and that means you're gonna get a much longer life cycle and better safety characteristics out of those battery cells or that chemistry than you would have got with other chemistries that some of these portable power station companies had used in the past. It offers one kilowatt hour of battery capacity or just over one kilowatt hour at 1,056 watt hours. And that's expandable up to 2,112 watt hours. During testing, I did check the usable capacity of the C1000 and I got 970 watt hours out of the battery, ultimately translating into an efficiency of around 92.7%. And that is in the upper echelon of all portable power stations that I have ever tested. This is equipped with a pure sine wave inverter and I did verify that it has clean waveforms. The rated output of this is 1800 watts of continuous output and 2400 watts of surge capabilities. Of course, I tested those claims charging it up to 100% and discharging it right at the max continuous level and the power station performed flawlessly. I did perform a surge test and it did spike over 1800 watts for a short amount of time. So everything, what they say that the output is capable of certainly perform like it should. For the outputs, you get six AC sockets. One of those are labeled surge pad. That is the only one that can handle that 2400 watts of surge that I mentioned earlier. You get two standard USB-A ports, two high-speed 100 watt USB-C ports, and a 12 volt car outlet. There is a light integrated into the power station that has three settings, and the overall configuration is pretty straightforward although a bit more limited on some of the DC high output options that you might see in other competitors, portable power stations. But I find that the 12 volt, 10 amp car socket is the sweet spot when it comes to these DC options for powering things in like say an RV or for van life. Safety is one of the areas that Anchor Solex emphasizes on their entire product line, including the C1000. Inside, the battery management system protects against over voltage, over current, short circuit, and over temperature events. The outer shell is made of a fire retardant material to help suppress if something would ever occur with the batteries on the inside as well. And Anchor has the certifications in place to back up those safety claims. The cooling fans kick on automatically under high load or fast charging. During my testing, I did do a sound check at the max AC input of 1,000 watts, and the highest reading that I recorded was 36.3 decibels. Now, I do wanna point something out here is that I understand that the max charge rate is a little higher than that. That's an ultra fast mode, but I did not wanna do it under that because 
That is not something I would recommend using very often if you wanna protect your batteries uh, from any type of damage down the road. So at a thousand watts of input, it's a safe, fast charge. But when you start reaching up around that 1300, 1400 watts on this system, I don't feel like you should be doing that other than in emergency situations. Now the fans do an excellent job of keeping the unit operating in a safe temperature environment. So that means it keeps it cool enough that it doesn't overheat when you're doing extreme tests. And the system remains rather quiet when doing that. So unlike gas generators, this unit has zero emissions, making it completely safe for indoor use and even crowded parks and tailgating events. Now moving into performance, I tested the efficiency and the C1000 came in at a very impressive result for any class. Efficiency above 85% is considered good, over 90% is considered great, but achieving over 92% across a variety of real world tests is in an elite class. And this was over 92%. Running household appliances like refrigerators or some power tools or even sensitive electronics posed no problem for the C1000. Voltage stability was solid throughout all of my tests. The C1000 also has a UPS of 20 milliseconds or less. So what that means is it can switch from one power source to another power source in less than 20 milliseconds, meaning there's no disruption in your sensitive electronics if the power happens to go out. So we're feeding the AC into this and that is doing a pass through and it's powering that electronic power goes out. It switches from the AC to using the batteries that are for the backup and that happens in 20 milliseconds or less and you'll never be able to tell that the power actually went out. My tests are pretty extreme when it comes to testing out these portable power stations from max discharge to max input to long-term discharges, all happening simultaneously back to back to see if we can heat this system up and get it to overheat. And the system performed excellent under much harsher conditions than you'll ever come close to pushing this unit. I can almost guarantee you that. It did not overheat, it did not have any faults, which provides me with the confidence that this power station will perform great in under all conditions. One of the strongest features of this unit is charging speed. Using a standard AC wall outlet and setting the system to ultra fast mode, I was able to go from zero to 100% in about an hour. Although I don't recommend using that mode all the time, like I mentioned earlier, it is nice to have that feature if you need it for an emergency. For solar input, the rated maximum is 600 watts of input, and that is a very solid amount of solar input for a system of this size. Star charging is supported as well, although at a much slower pace. It's better left as a backup method. However, if charging in your car, van, or RV is a must, I would recommend looking into alternator chargers designed to work perfectly for these power stations. Another area worth highlighting is connectivity. And with the Anchor app, you can connect to the C1000 with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and pairing was pretty straightforward. Inside the app, you can monitor input and output power, track the state of charge, and toggle through AC and DC inputs on or off. The first thing I always do when receiving a portable power station is connecting to the app and downloading the latest firmware to the newest versions. It's very important to keep these systems up to date so you can take advantages of improvements over time without any hardware changes. In my experience, the connection was very stable and overall the user interface of the app was very user friendly and easy to navigate. In daily use, the C1000 is pretty convenient though not without quirks. The handles make it easy to carry around for short distances, but the weight is noticeable compared to some of the other lighter one kilowatt hour options that are on the market. This weighs in at 28.6 pounds, not overbearing by any means, just worth mentioning if you're gonna be packing this around for long hauls. The noise levels are generally very low while under light loads, but ramp up slightly once the fans kick in under heavy use or under charging. However, the noise output remains very calm and relatively silent, but it's worth noting if you're gonna have this in close proximity to where you're gonna be working or sleeping. The display is great for indoors. But like I mentioned earlier, it could be a bit harder to see in direct sunlight. 
Still, for most indoor and outdoor scenarios, it gets the job done. And finally, the DC output options are somewhat limited compared to other brands, especially if you're looking for higher outputs on that 12 volt output and more versatile connections. So who's the Anchor Solex C1000 first generation best suited for? If you need a reliable, safe, or efficient one kilowatt hour power station for camping, RV trips, or as a small backup for home appliances, this will absolutely get the job done and is a great choice in my opinion. But if you're looking for the latest features and design, you may want to consider Anchor Solex newest model, which is still the C1000 Generation 2, but keep in mind the newest model does not offer any capacity expandability where the Generation 1 version does. Either way, it's still a solid performer in its class, no question about it. Hey, I want to say thank you for hanging out with me to the end of the video, and I don't do this very often. I don't advertise that I give away some of these portable power stations or some of the solar equipment that I test here on my channel back to the community because I do it over on my website, thesolarpit.com. You'll just need to enter into the drawing, whether it's for this Anchor Solex C1000 or a future product that I'm giving away. If you enter one time and you stay active on that list, you'll be entered and eligible for every giveaway that I do over on my website. So if you're interested in this one or a future items that I do give away, be sure to visit that over there, get signed up for that. If I choose your name, it needs to be a valid email. So that way I can reach out to you and get your information and send out the item to you free of charge. So I do want to try to give back to the community as much as I can because you all have supported me so much through my journey here on YouTube and my other social media outlets and I couldn't do it without you. So hopefully you are the lucky winner of the C1000 or future items that I put up over on the website. Hope to catch you in my next video.